is to Sanford, though, not specifically route to, to Tobacco Road Golf Club. We will be there at 10.27 a.m., it says. And what's our tea time? Our tea time is at 2.30, so we can probably get some sleep somewhere since I think combined we have about maybe five hours, five hours of sleep. Yeah, most. I got zero. I got, if I'm lucky, three. If that wasn't Welcome to Tobacco Road, I don't know what was. Well, I hate to see it. Hate to see it. <laughs> Tobacco Road, designed by Mike Strantz, established in 1998. I compare Mike Strantz to the rock and roll of golf architecture. It's not one of those courses that you can go into without being 100% on your mental game and expect to pull something out. There's nothing normal about that entire course. All right, no snap shafts. That's a good, good starting sign. Tucker shows up. I asked him if he washed his clubs or anything. Not only did he not wash them, they still got an <laughs> inch of mud. On the sides of them. I went to the range yesterday. What do you want from me? Very excited to be at Tobacco Road. Justin told me about this course probably about a year ago, and I just became obsessed with a lot of Mike Strand's courses. This obviously being a number one bucket list for me. I I love grit. I love. I mean, the type of music I listen to. It's it's gritty rock. You know, that's like my favorite genre. And this course, I haven't played it yet, but uh, from what I've seen and what I've heard, it just reminds me of that. We just drove. 11 hours from East Hartford, Connecticut, down to North Carolina. So the first two rounds of this whole series is going to be a modified net stable for The person with the most points after those first two rounds automatically becomes the one seed and will automatically go into the final round, which will be a match play on the last day. Uh, the third round will be a match play between the bottom two players to fight for that championship round. I'm so excited for the next three days playing four absolutely beautiful courses down here. Each one's got its own unique qualities, unique characteristics. I have not gotten any swings in yet. We're out here on the range. Played around Saturday that I felt good at the end, hoping we could carry that into today. The weather's perfect, like absolutely. You're a fair weather golfer. Absolutely perfect. I'm a fair weather golfer, so I'm liking the sound of it. Unfortunately, I'm hearing Tucker hitting some solid sounding shots over there, but that's what we want. We want to be playing some good golf. We don't want to be scrapping it together. Honestly, it's even more incredible than I thought it was going to be. Um, pulling in, seeing that first par three with that crazy green over the bright blue water and everything, and then all the sand hills and everything. It's just, it's crazy down here. It's like nothing I've ever played before. Um, and I don't know that there really is another course like it, to be honest. You know, we just had an 11 hour drive, but uh, I'm pretty young and spry, not like these uh, feeble old men I'm playing against. So. You know, I'm, I'm feeling a lot looser than they are, I think, at this point, and I'm ready to go. Great ball. Hold on. Sorry, the app froze up. Dude, my adrenaline right now is Yeah, I'm, I was shaking. Hold on, sorry, sorry. You sorry. gotta be <laughs> kidding me. Nope, I'm not. Go ahead. Good ball. Thank you. Another one down the middle? Mentally strong. Yes, sir. Hang on! Oh. Hang on! Ah! Oh, get over! Oh! We couldn't all be in the fairway. That just, that just wouldn't work. Nice, Al. If that wasn't Welcome to Tobacco Road, I don't know what was. We're through three holes. Uh, all it takes is one bad shot to put you in a real bad place. This course is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like, so sick. So sick, and I, uh, I'm still jittery, like how excited I am, you know? Saved par out of that bunker, and we're kind of trending in the wrong direction, but that's all right. I got one point right now, that's all I need. Keep going. What's gonna make it a break it today? Nothing, not a thing. It's just gonna, it will be made. 
Yeah, I don't I, like. I I came into this with zero expectation to shoot anything. Yeah, I'm just here to have fun, with guys. The sun, these boys can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actors. I don't fall for it, I'm oh to all your tactics. Yeah, so try again. It's time to take a vitamin. Yeah, and vitamin. Welcome to the lion's game. I will take that all fing down. I'm in charge of coming in like a bull. You see me raising the stock up. Uh, yeah. So baby, you gonna need some patience. I already won. Now I'm just making a statement. Uh, Damn, baby, why your mans keep hating? You asking about the cake, you here for the celebrations? And I ain't fishing, I ain't really into baiting. I know they all wish I'd take away they maiden, but sorry I'm taking, me and my lady mating. She look me in the eyes and tell me how much she loving on my uh, confidence, yeah. It really shouldn't be no arguments Cause you're now viewing the greatest of all time Saying I can't get better I promise they all lying on my confidence Yeah, that's right uh, look. After the front nine, Burke in the lead with two points Justin in second with negative eight And me in last with negative ten We're gonna make a strong comeback on the back nine um, just chipped in for par, and uh, we're gonna go from there. Net birdie? Net birdie. Chipped in for net birdie from the sand. So the 11th hole is a big uphill dogleg right. There's a huge sand waste area over to the right. Was that just Justin's 300 yard three wood right there? Yeah. Or hybrid or whatever it was? Three wood, yeah. By this point, I had completely given up on hit and driver. I didn't realize how far the whole dog liked right. I thought that the group in front of us was off the green and over on their tee box already. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go for it. The green is on the top of that waste area. I'll just hit another three wood up there. Probably the second most solid three wood I hit all day. I got up there and I couldn't find my ball. They gave me a free drop because we saw some balls and this is how steep this embankment is. There's balls that are embedded into the top of the sand that you can't get to. Like you cannot climb up and get to it. You can't reach down and get to them. Like they're way the hell up there. So we all thought my ball was one of these. They gave me a free drop down in the waste area. I hit a really good wedge up and out. Played out the hole and we were walking away to the next tees and we actually found my ball in the back bunker. So I'd actually- oh, you, you hit it through the fairway? I had hit the, that ball over the waste area, through the fairway, into a bunker. Literally played it out because they were like, just play your ball in. Ended up with the same score. I ended up with six with both balls off of there. Pardon me in my tone. Can't step to my throne. They ain't working like me. I did this on my own. You asking where we been? I don't know where to begin. All this dirt on my skin. I just came here to win. I'm more than a man, I'm a monster. Somebody called a pastor, doctor. I got a six cents for imposters. So now I'm coming for the whole roster. It's not a game, why you playing with me? You could double back, lose track, try and hang with me. It must be in my veins. It's something you can't tame, cause I break the chains. Can't control me. I got the power. I got the keys. Cause I break the chains. They try to hold me. Dude, this course is a trip. Like, no <laughs> nothing makes sense. It's it's absolute madness. Burke's just having blind luck out of <laughs> and playing holes the wrong way, and it's working out. And <laughs> it's still like 70 degrees right now. This course is gorgeous. I was upset that I played bad because it sucks to play bad, but it has just made me more excited for future trips and to hopefully get back there and everything because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, we were thinking about playing that course again while we were there. With how everyone played and everything, with how Justin played, with how I played, with how your game's improving constantly, yeah. like, we can go back there and actually put up good scores. As the high handicap of the group, like, to be completely honest, like, I was just kind of focusing on just enjoying the experience. It tempts you. It's a tempting golf course, and I think for a higher handicap, maybe because you don't 
you want to play the safe route maybe because you know like you're not as good as these other guys like it, it makes it a little bit easier for you because like you're like i'm going that way because i know i can stay out of the hazard i know that i will put up a bogey and be fine with that there was a lot of holes that were like ah uh, can i do what i'm about to do i'm gonna give it a shot or what am i supposed to do here there was pretty much always some sort of save option but it wasn't super obvious what that safe option was for the most part, you can attack that course. It doesn't look like it from a lot of shots. So like you look at the first hole and you think you have to go in between those two mounts. But if you go over either of those mounts, you're getting to fairway and you have a good lie. And then your second shot's the same exact thing, but even tighter. But you just have to send it straight over those things and there's fairway on the other side. The coolest part about Tobacco Road is that the sand just plays as another surface. There's no penalty for grounding your club or anything. You could drive in the sand. Like that was just the coolest thing ever. The carts were super cool. They were lifted carts. I don't like riding in a cart, but with the lack of sleep that we were getting, the amount of rounds that we were playing in such a short period of time, it just made sense to, to ride. And uh, just driving through the bunkers was such a cool experience. I think anybody can go out there and have a good time. And that's what that's about. It's about the experience. It's about, again, I think just the grit of the golf course, the ruggedness of the golf course. It's a cool thing to experience, regardless of your handicap, regardless of what you shoot. Like you can still go on these golf trips. You can still go out to these golf courses, even if you're a 20 plus handicap and have a great time. Like the, it, it's not about shooting low scores. It's about experiencing these golf courses. Next week on On The Roam. What's going on guys, name's Mike. I run uh, Sea Golf Play Golf on Instagram and on YouTube. You fucking dumbass. I think this may be a little hidden gem right here. Is there anything to uh, add? No.